Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My beloved brothers and sisters, I have here with me Kitab Madariju Salikin, Baina Manazili Iyakana Abudu wa Iyakana Sta'in, written by Shamsuddin Abi Abdullahi Muhammad ibn al Qayyim al Jawziya Rahimahullah, who many of you should know. This book I have is the publication which is Darul Tayyibah. And it is the first volume. So I was preparing and I was putting together uh, a very uh, detailed refutation on the atheists. So inshallah ta'ala I'm going to share a benefit in this book with you all inshallah ta'ala. Ibn Qayyim says as you can see from the uh, the uh, brackets inshallah ta'ala which is up to there as well. He says, Ibn al-Qayyim, I'm going to read it inshallah ta'ala and then I'm going to translate it. Ibn al-Qayyim, he says, وَسَمِعْتُ شَيْخَ الْإِسْلَامِ تَقِيَّ الدِّينِ إِبْنُ تَيْمِيَةَ قَدَّسَ اللَّهُ رُوحَهُ He said, I have heard Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, may Allah tabarak wa ta'ala honor his soul. يقول say, so Ibn al-Qayyim is saying, I heard my teacher, Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, say, may Allah wa ta'ala honor his soul. What is it that he said? He said, كَيْفَ يُطْلَبُ الدَّلِيلُ عَلَى مَنْ هُوَ الدَّلِيلُ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ وَكَانَ كَثِيرًا مَا يَتَمَثَّلُ بِهَذَا الْبَيْتِ So Ibn Taymiyyah said, uh, how can you inquire proof and evidence? From the one who is self-evident. He doesn't need nor require to be demonstrated or explained. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then he says, وَكَانَ كَثِيرًا And he was a lot. Ibn Taymiyyah. كَانَ كَثِيرًا مَا يَتَمَثَّلُ بِهَذَا الْبَيْتِ And a lot did Ibn Taymiyyah express himself with this line of poetry. Which is, وَلَيْسَ يَصْحُ فِي الْأَذْهَانِ شَيْءٌ إِذَا احْتَاجَ النَّهَارُ إِلَى دَلِيلٍ It is. Ibn Taymiyyah says, وَلَيْسَ يَصْحُ فِي الْأَذْهَانِ شَيْءٌ It is a, a logical absurdity. إِذَا احْتَاجَ النَّهَارُ إِلَى دَلِيلٍ If the day time, I mean the day requires evidence from you. If the day requires evidence from you, the day the sun, if that requires evidence from you, that is a logical absurdity. وَمَعْلُومٌ أَنَّ وُجُودَ الرَّبِّ تَعَالَى أَظْهَرُ لِلْعُقُولِ وَالْفِطَرِ مِنْ وُجُودِ النَّهَارِ And then he goes on to say in, وَمَعْلُومٌ What is known, أَنَّ وُجُودَ الرَّبِّ The existence of Allah تبارك وتعالى is أظهر more apparent. More clear Rationally للعقول والفطر It is more rationally Apparent and clear And In the innate disposition also It is more clear Allah تبارك وتعالى's existence Then من وجودي من وجود النهاري Then the existence of the day The existence of the sun ومن لم يرى ذلك في عقله وفطرته and anyone who doesn't find that in themselves that Allah's existence is not more apparent to you rationally and it is also not uh, naturally, innately uh, more apparent to you then suspect your rationality and your natural disposition so what you find a lot of people do is they try to spend so much time proving Allah Taala's existence. Trying to prove Allah Taala's existence is actually weakening the existence of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Then Allah Taala He placed inside us the natural disposition that allows us to know His existence. That's the benefit that I wanted to share with you from this uh, great book. Anything which I have said that was wrong is from Allah and His Messenger. And so anything I have said that was wrong is from me and Shaitan and Allah and His Messenger are for free from it. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. 
أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أستغفرك وأتوب إليه